you see the goggles. Now, if you've never had a tear duct injury, it doesn't sound that serious, but it required surgery, and it can become a problem for a player. Thomas has decided to test it, and he'll wear the goggles, so for a while, I guess he'll look like Jabbar and Worthy and some of those fellas. And you'll see an awful lot of muscle around by the basket, and we'll also see very few uncontested layups. Here's James Edwards now. He puts it up. No good. Rebound once again to Aguirre underneath. He's getting some tough rebounds. In the corner to Isaiah, and good. And here's the play. A little put, yeah, he might have even got a little bit of a push, but the whistle didn't blow, which is what matters. Here's Isaiah for three, and good. They set a double screen for Isaiah under the basket on the out-of-bounds play, and ran him out there, and he got his three. Here's Mike Brown inside, tried to go over Hastings, no good, and here come the Pistons, two on one, Aguirre with Thomas, and an easy layup for two. For a deuce, and it is an eight-point lead for the Detroit Pistons. Frank Layton always entertaining Whoa. figure, and so is Isaiah Thomas. What a move inside by Isaiah, who saw some room in the lane and took advantage of it. But he took a giant step to set that screen. I love the fact that the NBA is a non-contact lead. <laughs> this is the most violent non-contact sport I've ever seen in my life. Inside for Isaiah Thomas. And that'll be goaltending off the glass as Blue Edwards is rejected. We were talking about it yesterday. Absolutely incredible how well these guys play with their back to the basket. Extraordinary. Here's Thomas now inside. That shot, good. Thought they might have got a piece of that, but Isaiah is good. Let's see. Watch now. Watch how he gets that angle. He gets to the baseline. Now he's got him beat. Everybody coming at him. Too late. Once that ball hits that uh, backboard. What a move by Isaiah Thomas. Comes right back. Dumars with the steal. Looks for Thomas, but puts it up instead. No good. Thomas looking for the rebound. Can't control it. And Griffith gets it back for the Jazz. Bedford set the screen there for Dumars, who gets it off to Isaiah. Coming up on two minutes in the period. Bedford again set the screen. Isaiah goes inside, takes a shot from Eaton, but drops it. Isaiah is having a great first half. 17 points so far in the ball game. Isaiah working on Jeff Malone. Isaiah for three and good. I'll tell you, he earned that one because Malone was right up in his face on that. You're right though, it's hanging around 10. 10, 11, 8. Uh, and if Utah wants to get back, whoa, boy. Isaiah again pops from outside. He's just showcasing all of his talents this ball game. The first half of the ball game, everything in the lane. Now he shoots from outside. Great play by Thurl Bailey. Johnson gets physical and Carl Malone keeps it in, but here come the Jazz. Stockton with Blue Edwards. Oh, beautiful move around Isaiah, but he lost the side of the basket. Here comes Isaiah back down, going around Malone. He puts it up, took a shot in the face there. And that brings the crowd to life. Now here's Blue Edwards in the paint, working on Rodman. Loose ball goes to Sally, ahead for Vinnie Johnson. He's got Isaiah Thomas with him, back to Johnson to Sally. Showtime for the Detroit Pistons as John Sally puts Detroit up by two. Daly telling Thomas, stay close on Stockton. Here's Bailey over to Rodman. No good. Thomas gets the rebound. A chance for the Pistons to increase their lead with six and a half minutes left in the fourth period. Stockton goes the wrong way, gets blocked out, and Thomas lays it in. Beautiful play by Isaiah. Stockton went for the pick, and Isaiah went to the lane. You might play better if you wore a jersey. Now watch this. He's got Stockton kind of standing up. He goes the wrong way. Here comes Isaiah. And not only does he get Stockton, he goes back over those Giants to make that last little hook shot. Thomas and Dumars in the backcourt for the Pistons. Dumars will end up Isaiah. Three. That's two. One official put up the side for three. The other goes two. We've got a tie ball game with 24 seconds left. Get ball. they got plenty of time. The, di is the differential between the game clock and the shot clock is two seconds. Tie ball game. Want to move it in. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Stockton working on Isaiah. Behind the back. In the lane. Over for Jeff Malone. Puts it up with one on the shot clock. And good! Whoa, that's what they... Two seconds left on the clock. And Jeff Malone works it for the Jazz to put his team on top by two. Chuck Daly calls timeout on the floor. It's 103-101. With two seconds left on the clock. What a play by the Jazz. There it comes. He gets him now. He's going to get him in. 
kicks it out. Malone pumps and sticks it. Let's see, they got they all right, they got Isaiah down. He's gonna come back out to get it. We know that. Couple one, two, three screens. Here he comes out. He's got it. Two one, got, it's up. No good. And the Utah Jazz win a thriller 103 to 101 over the two-time defending NBA champion Detroit Pistons. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. No surprises. The Miller Light Player of the Game Award. First from Utah, John Stockton. And from Detroit, Isaiah Thomas. John Stockton with 23 points, 12 in the fourth period, earns him Miller Lite MVP honors, along with Isaiah Thomas, who had 32 points in the ball game. The Jazz win at 103 to 101. We'll be back with more of the Reebok Punk Challenge in just a moment.